What's up guys? Today we're going to get into Google Ads promotion extension and why it is literally the most underutilized ad asset that's being that's not being used right now and why everyone who's watching this video right now you should go in and create a promotion extension on your Google Ads account. It's going to give you so much more real estate at the top of Google. It's insane. I'm going to walk you through how to set these up, how to use them, how we use them and best practices. Let's get after it. Okay, guys, we're inside a client's Google Ads account. You can see we don't have anything set up right now. So real quick, before I show you how to set these up, here's the here's why here's why you should use them, right? So Google obviously is search based people search into Google, and they have a problem. And Facebook, the difference with, between Google and Facebook is Facebook is kind of interruption uh, marketing, people are scrolling on their feed, and they see something that might be enticing. Now to make something enticing to someone who's not searching for it, Facebook ads, they get creative with different offers, right? So the offer is what attracts people who are not necessarily looking for a service. So this is kind of similar where you're putting a, a promotion out there on Google. So you're layering on top. They're already searching for it. And now we're putting in that Facebook aspect of like we're giving them a killer offer to entice them to click even more. So you're getting double when you do this, all right? And this is why... It's so awesome to combine this with your Google Ads campaign, a promotion extension, because this stuff works so well in, in display advertising. It's insane. So everyone should be doing this in your campaign, assuming you have some kind of special or promotion. It has to be a good offer, right? This is not going to work if it's, you know, some horrible offer. You got to have a strong offer. And if you have a strong offer to run, then you can do really, really well with promotion extensions. So that said... Let's just show you how to create one, right? So you go into a campaign. We have a tree service guy here. You go into assets. You go to promotion. We hit the blue plus here. And we're going to add an asset. Right? So we do campaign, tree service, asset, create new. What's the occasion? So if you're unsure of what any of these things are, hover over the question mark and it tells you. Right? So occasion, uh, we don't need an occasion, but it could be a Labor Day sale, Mother's Day, National Day, New Year's, whatever, right? It doesn't really matter. There's a ton of different ones you can choose from, or you can just leave it as, you know, none. But since it's October, what's today, guys? The 14th, October 14th, I'm going to do a Halloween special here. You can do a promotion type, right? So that's simply, is it a percent discount? Is it up to a, per, a monetary discount? So up to $100? Is it up to a percent discount? Is it up to 50% off? So there's a lot of different things you can do here. And you got to get creative. And again, this goes back to where you have to have a strong offer. Okay? So, I mean, there's limited what we can do in tree service, right? So a Halloween special. We could do, say, 30 that's a little high. Well, obviously, you got to think on what your offer is going to be. I'm just doing this on a fly to show you how to do it. So let's just say it's a price discount, percent discount, 20% on an item. Let's say fall tree trimming. Uh, you put your URL here, promotion details, so you can show requirements needed on orders over or a promo code. So you can do either that or none, right? So if you want to do a promo code, we can do Halloween twenty three, right? So you can use a promo code like that or on orders over hundred bucks, whatever. I said I didn't have to put that in there. So you do like a, on orders over 100 bucks, you get 20% off um, fall tree trimming service. Or you just do none, right? And it's just 20% off fall tree trimming, right? You can have it run. Let me move my head out of the way. You can have it run um, on an ad schedule. And you have a few different advanced options here, which you guys really won't have to mess around with. You can just put t times and stuff like that when you want promotion to show. But for the most part, that's how you do it. Then you would just hit save and you'll be done. So here's what it would look like in your ad, right? Halloween, 20% off, fall tree trimming, right? And that's obviously, guys, I know it's not a great offer, but you get the idea, right? You want to have something very enticing to just to get 
people in the door for something they're already looking for, right? So they're already searching for tree cutting, tree services. Now I'm saying, hey, we have a Halloween special, 20% off fall tree trimming. Claim now or whatever, right? You got to get clever with the with the text here. But you get the idea. It all comes down to your offer. The stronger the offer you have, the more success you're going to have with this. So that's really, really important. And you can see here, we're just banging out real estate right under our ad. We have this nice big block now with another call to action with a special coupon offer, right? And obviously get more creative. This is not, you know, throw it in chat GPT if you need to come up with some awesome call to actions. But that's how you do it. Very powerful stuff. I highly recommend that you at least test this in your campaigns. And if you have a good offer, you're going to see crazy results.